In this video, I'll be showing you all the methods that help you to lower my ping and subsequently increase my download and upload speed. This video will cover some of the optimizations posted before and plus some extra ways to further tune settings for the best performance in one video. In my case, Fortnite is a game I'll be optimizing for. Since Fortnite recently moved all tournaments from East and West servers to Central servers, it ended up screwing a lot of people's ping. As a Canadian player myself, I saw my frame go from 25 to 35 on East servers to 70 to 90 on Central servers. But with these optimizations, I now average between 35 to 50 ping on Central servers. And that's when it equals to Canada, so who knows how low you can get it. There will be timestamps throughout the video, so feel free to skip around if you already have done an optimization. And share the video to a friend that needs to watch this. To give a quick rundown of today's optimizations, we'll be updating our network drivers, changing our DNS server, optimizing our TCP interaction, or for game servers, and lastly add a QoS policy. To start updating our network drivers, open the device manager and click on the drop down arrow for network adapters. Here, pay attention to what brand of network adapter you have. For me, I have a real-time gaming adapter 2.5 gigabit family controller. Now, with this information, head to Google and search up the name of your network adapter and click on the link for your drivers. When you find it, download it, and then you may need to extract it and start the installation process just like with my drivers. Make sure to install the correct version of drivers as some people use Windows 10 and others use Windows 11. If you don't know what version of Windows you are on, right click on the Windows logo and then select System. Here should tell you what version of Windows you have. For me, I have Windows 10. For some people, they need to head back to the Device Manager and manually select their drivers. This is not the case for most people, so go ahead and skip this part of the video if you don't need to manually select your drivers. To manually select drivers, double click on your network adapter in Device Manager and then navigate to the Driver tab. Click on Update Driver, browse my computer for drivers, a list of available drivers on my computer and choose the network adapter file you downloaded earlier. Now that we all have our drivers installed, we can now optimize the settings. Go on the Power Management tab and uncheck these settings and then go to Advanced Settings. Here, anything with offload, light, or anything that indicates a speed reduction, go ahead and disable the setting. As always, I'll have the settings I change on screen. For me, the settings Triple E Max Support Speed and Speed and Duplex had different options. For these settings, select the High Speed option available. I'll be choosing 2.5 Gigabit. For people who use Wi-Fi, copy down these settings down on the screen. To start optimizing our DNS server, open the control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center. Right here, it'll either be ethernet or Wi-Fi, depending on what you're using. And finally, properties. Here, we'll be switching both internet protocol version 4 and internet protocol version 6. Now head to the description and open a link that will take you to a website with a DNS server benchmark. That'll give you the best DNS server near you. Once on the website, scroll down and click here to start a download and open it. Here, click on Name Servers and run the benchmark. For me, the best DNS server is this combination of numbers. Check both the Owner tab and the Name tab to find the name of the provider for the best DNS server that works best for you. The best DNS server is either the first or second result. And for me, the first result is the connection between my Bell modem to my computer. And that's not a DNS server. That then means that the second option is the best DNS server for me. And that's my ISP provided DNS server. So no changes are needed for the IPv4 and IPv6 DNS server addresses for me. However, if the benchmark recommend a different DNS server than your ISP DNS server, then a quick search in Google will show the primary and secondary IPv4 DNS server address and the possibility of an IPv6 address if they offer it. If not, it doesn't really matter if the best DNS server provider for you doesn't have an IPv6 address as it is just an address and nearly all things we access on the internet use an IPv4 address. However, an IPv6 address will come in handy in the future when there are no more IPv4 addresses available. To switch our DNS server, we have to input our primary and secondary DNS server addresses into the properties we opened earlier. 
Just copy and paste the numbers into the properties or individually write each section and then click OK. Keep in mind that when you put in your new DNS server and switch it for a different one, you don't need to restart your computer. For me, the ISP provided DNS server by Bell works best for me, so I'll be sticking with that. To start optimizing TCP interaction, head to the link in the description to install TCP Optimizer 4.0. Once on the website, click right here on the blue text to start the install. Once completed, click on the arrow beside your download and then click show in folder. In here, right click on TCP Optimizer and run as administrator. Now that we all have TCP Optimizer, we can now optimize our settings. Head to the top and adjust your pointer to your internet speed. I have 2.5 gigabits of upload and download, so I'll set it to 100 plus megabits. Now head to the bottom and click on custom to change the rest of the settings. Click modify all network adapters, set TTL to 128, and then simply copy the options on screen for the rest of the dropdowns and general settings. To find the optimal NTU value, we need to ping our game servers and see what is the highest value that doesn't cause fragmentation. To find this, open command prompt as administrator. Type in ping and then the server you want to use to test your ping. Then type dash F, dash L, and finally the NTU value. If you can't find your own game server, alternatively, you can also use the Google server as well. That will be in the description. I'll be testing the Fortnite Central servers in Dallas, and we'll leave a link in the description for all other Fortnite servers. Start at 1200 and increase from there and slowly dial in the MTU value. For me, 1436 is the highest value I can use without fragmentation. Now that we've figured out our optimal MTU value, we can now type it into the box. Once completed, we can now head to the advanced tab and change the rest of our settings. Here simply enter the values I have on screen for both columns of settings. For gaming tweak, people have conflicting settings as for these options, it depends on your PC. We'll have to test both gaming zero and disable FFF and default 10 and optimal 10 and see which works better for us. Make sure to press apply after when testing settings, otherwise they won't be engaged. After you're finished changing your settings, you can now go ahead and press apply settings. The application will then prompt you to restart your computer. So go ahead and restart your computer. To start performing on game servers, we need to figure out your IP address to port forward. To find our IP address, open up the command prompt by searching CMD on Windows Search and open as administrator. Then paste this command in the description and press enter. The command will spit out lines of information, but we're only interested in our IPv4 address and make sure to note it down. Before closing the command prompt, copy your default gateway and search it in your browser. This will open your router settings and you may need to enter a username and password. Once logged in, navigate to where your router has port forwarding and now we can start to port forward our game servers. Now head to the link in the description and open the first link. In the search, type in the name of your game and enter. Oftentimes, the link will lead you to your game and for me it did. Now scroll down and find your platform. I'll be port forwarding my PC and my PS5. If you don't find your game, you can also search on Google the name of your game servers to port forward and here I search for the Fortnite server values to port forward. Now going back and forth, we will port forward each TCP and UDP value. So by creating a new rule or the equivalent in your router settings and give it a name. Now head back to the website with your game server values and enter the first value. Make sure to also select the correct protocol which is either TCP or UDP. On the values with a dash, enter the first number in both first boxes and enter the second number in only the second box for the second set of boxes and it will automatically finish the rest for you. Depending on the value, you can select both for protocol, save time if a value is present in both lists. Now on the last step, enter your IP address, which was your IP4 address, and then last four boxes and press create. I like to save after every rule, so if an error pops up, I only have to redo one rule. Repeat this procedure for both lists of TCP and UDP until you're finished. Once completed, make sure to save and then restart your router to initialize your settings. To start the QoS optimization, in Windows search type registry editor and open it as administrator. Then paste the command in the description up on the top box. Here, open the D word called start by double clicking on it. If the value is set to one, then you can exit out of the registry editor by pressing OK. And if not, then change the value to one and press OK. Now, restart your PC so we can do the next step. After restarting, search PowerShell in the Windows search and open as administrator. Then paste this command down in the description and press enter to run the command. Once the command was executed, we can now close the PowerShell. In the last step of preparation, we need to enable GP edit. Open up the command prompt by typing CMD in Windows search and open as administrator. Then we need to paste in both commands and press enter to run the commands. Once done, we can exit CMD and restart our PC once again. Once your PC has finished restarting, we can now open GP edit. Start by pressing the Windows key plus R 
To open run, then paste gpedit.msc from the description in the box and click OK. Once open, click on Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, now right click on Policy Based QoS, and create a new policy. Give it a name and set the SCP value to 46. Next, click on this option. And now we need our game's executable name. To find this, open up your game and then Task Manager. Right click on your game in Task Manager and click on Open File Location. Now copy the name of your game's executable file name and paste it into your QoS policy. Now press next and again, either change the dropdown to TCP and UDP and then press finish. If my optimizations worked or even slightly helped, I would appreciate it if you could like, share and subscribe as I'm on my way to being a YouTube partner and only need 3,000 more hours of watch time. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next video.